Okay, here, so now what I've got is uh, what angles am I cutting in half? So, uh, for this particular problem, I want to know uh, what is x, uh, so x is just my theta, on some interval of 0 to 2 pi, that uh, would give me the function sine of x, uh, the half angle of sine and the half angle of cosine, they would be equivalent. So, the way that I'm going to take a look at this particular problem is uh, I'm going to use uh, identities, because right now, as it is, I need to turn something so that it is of the same form, so the sub same trigonometric function. So when I go ahead and take a look at that, okay, so the trigonometric I identities that you would begin to use here are that uh, sine of x over 2 is uh, the square roots of 1 minus cosine of x divided by 2, and it's the plus or minus, because whenever you take the square root of something, it's plus or minus, which is also equal to, well, the cosine of x over 2 is plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine of x all over 2. Now, the whole reason I thought to do that is because I have a half angle with both of them, and I need to turn them into something that both have cosine. Well, the trigonometric functions that deal with sine and cosine that have half angles, both are basing it off of cosine. So now what I have here is I've got the square root of 1 minus cosine of x divided by 2 is equal to this. So what I'm going to do here is I've got to solve for cosine, so I need to get cosine out of these square roots, and the way you get something out of square root is just square. So if I want to get it out of square root, so I'm going to square both sides. And what I'm left with is 1 minus cosine of x all over 2 is equivalent to 1 plus cosine of x all over 2. Multiply both sides by 2, and what you get here is that the 2, the 2's reduce out, and you're left with 1 minus cosine of x equals 1 plus cosine of x. So now I'm going to add cosine of x to both sides. So what I get here is that uh, uh, 1 is equivalent to 1 plus 2 cosine of x. Subtract 1 from both sides, and I'm left with that uh, 0 is now equal to 2 cosine of x. So to continue this problem off with, I would divide by 2, and you would get that cosine of x is equal to 0. So what angle do I take that gives you between 0 and 2 pi that would give me a cosine of being equivalent to 0? So there are two of those in this case, and those are the ones that I have memorized. So I would have that x is going to be pi over 2, uh, 90 degrees. And I also have that it's at 3 pi over 2, that it would be uh, 270 degrees, which gives me an x-coordinate of 0. So that's basically what I'm asking here. The trigonometric function gives you the output of what its coordinate would be on that circle. So I now have x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And lo and behold, I don't need to double them, don't need to triple them, don't need to add anything to them because I was talking about a single angle, which was the nice thing. So I took my half angle, put it as a single angle, and I don't got to worry about anything. So now my answer is x equals pi over 2 plus 3 pi over 2. So I hope those help.